Yeah. Well, oh my goodness. If I could quote Dana White, if you don't know now, you know. Stock and Sugar, Sean Ooh. O'Malley. I just wow. said, that's where O'Malley's dangerous when you're playing here. In the ruthless world of UFC and mixed martial art, a pile of broken necks, shattered ribs, and fractured shins defines the intense battles within the octagon. Don't let his smile fool you, because when giants step into the ring with skinny guy Sean Sugar O'Malley, they get cut down to size. What stats give him a fighting chance against the Giants in the UFC and MMA? How does Sean O'Malley's prowess compare to these formidable opponents, and how does he consistently outclass them? Let's delve into the world of UFC and MMA to unravel the unique skills and strategies that make O'Malley a force to be reckoned with in the combat sports arena. You know that when the going gets tough, only the tough get going. The distinctive combination of Sean O'Malley's showy striking, erratic dancing, and inventive octagon tactics sets him apart in style. No wonder he's number seven in the UFC's men's pound-for-pound -pound rankings. Three-piece dinner with biscuits. O'Malley! As for what he does with his crazy fist, you'll never see it coming. Sean O'Malley is not the strongest MMA fighter, and neither is he the most athletic, although he's in near excellent shape for almost all his fights. But one thing you should know is that he is crazy accurate with his liver bursting punches. Boy, what is Sugar about to do? Quickly adjusted by changing levels. Oh, O'Malley loves to spin and throw. Hardly resembling a natural born puncher, Sean began his amateur career at 18 and quickly proved himself as a creative striker. Even early on, the lanky newcomer was a star back home in Montana. With a record swelling with finishes, O'Malley turned pro in 2015. Two years went by, and the undefeated American had amassed six victories with five stoppages, so you know he does enjoy the high of walk off knockouts. Ever wondered about his fight with Alfred Kashakian? Given that Sean O'Malley is known for his striking skills, the American was ready for whatever Kashakian would throw at him. O'Malley enters the UFC octagon at Dana White's Contender Series 2. Alfred Kashakian had eight wins and three losses on his resume. He stumbles into a flying knee earlier, and by changing levels, Sean ate a few ground and pound shots and threw another few rights. He escapes the indecent position stuff in the head. O'Malley rallies in the stand-up about two minutes to go in the first round. Spins around with a back fist. He's still blinking. Starts chaining strikes together. Didn't see the right hand coming. Sugar executed a fatality. Dishes out more than the Armenian can take. The first precise cross sent Alfred's head spinning on the wrong side. And the second one took him straight out of Vegas to the city of angels. Kashakian slips. Boom. Right on the chin. Down he goes. How does Sugar outclass his opponents? What makes him unique is his unconventional style and endearing demeanor. Within the mixed martial arts community, O'Malley stands out because of his entertaining fighting style and recklessness. Skinny guy O'Malley holds nothing back as he serves his opponent no matter the size. But it was in UFC 222 against Andre Sukumthath that he would show the world the stuff he's made of. Andre Sukumthath presented an easy target at the outset, but in the end, only Sean's injury saved him from a KO that night. When Sukumthath checks one of O'Malley's kicks late in the second round, it instantly causes him excruciating pain. Without being able to apply any pressure to his right foot, he hops around the octagon. From that point on, almost every leg kick Sukumthath delivers lands and knocks O'Malley to the canvas. But Sean O'Malley's got more than one trick up his sleeve. Even Joe Rogan was begging Sukumthath not to put O'Malley through a ground fight, but to make him stand on one leg and fight from a disadvantage. However, Sukumthath handles it differently, and Sean O'Malley takes advantage of the situation. In the end, Sugar claims the victory in a unanimous decision and absolutely nothing to regret, more than we can say for Andre. What do you think of the last match against Andre? Give your comment below. But you can't mention O'Malley's top fights without giving a nod to Jose Quinones. O'Malley Sugar came back in March 2020. Jose Quinones was brought in as a dance partner, in a special kind of way, and we'll see how it plays out. Can Quinones eat the breakfast that is served? Sean easily keeps the Mexican at bay with kicks. Oh. Right there. Fighter! He's willing to get in there with- What a fighter. He's willing to get in there and get dirty, bruising Kanonas with heavy fists. You bet this fight was always going to be hard rock heavy metal. The check hook from Southpaw and the high boot that follows finds the target. O'Malley secures his first UFC knockout. Both fighters slug it out with no holds barred only for Sugar to come out supreme. The King. No wonder this was the performance of the night. Throw him down. High oh, O'Malley goes high. Now short uppercut. 
Sean O'Malley announces himself as the skinny guy who won't back down from a challenge, no matter the odds. What a champ. What did you think of that fight? Did Quinones have a chance of winning in the first place? I don't think so. In March 2021, Sao Paulo brawler Thomas Almeida was primed to destroy his next opponent, strengthening his title claim with consecutive demolitions. Ah! It is all over! But when you've cornered a wounded dog, all it can do is bite. This held until he met Sean O'Malley. O'Malley is on fourth gear right away, bombarding the Brazilian with kicks to the basement. He's a hard guy to figure out. Look at that. He's sharp and focused, switches targets and goes up top and needs to close the disc. He continues the bloodthirsty brawl. Do you think the referee should have awarded Sean the walkaway KO? Share your thoughts in the comments below. In the second round, he continues mixing up kicks and punches, gradually drawing. He'll make his hands further away from his head. He's just a smart guy. But O'Malley put together a multi-layered combination, that front kick up the middle. That man hurt him bad. He's doing it again. again the, hesitation. the Brazilian gets clocked with a short left cross. Boom, drops out. O'Malley goes, okay, it's over. Ref's like, why is your head made of steel? Tell me, what do you do? Is it the military? Yeah. O'Malley spiced it up and claimed yet another bonus for destroying his opponent. Some fighters have a preferred stance that they periodically switch to pull a prank. Some fighters alternate between both but split their bouts into orthodox and southpaw phases. Then there's O'Malley, who alternates between the two with ease, combining their offensive from both stances to produce something more powerful than the sum of its parts. O'Malley easily fits into the final group since he can move between positions during a fight, hiding his switches by circling, feinting, and striking. But will Eddie Wineland be the challenger that gets the best of him? Much has changed since then but not the explosive nature of his punches. However, it was Sean who dictated the action in the octagon. Eddie got grazed with a couple of high kicks, then an overhand sugar-switched focus to the body. How does a 150-pound man slug it out like that? He's gotta be careful here though because when you're engaged in O'Malley, oh look, he's good with that, and soon sealed the deal in and out. He does defense. Distracted by a couple of feints, Wineland didn't see the cross coming, and O'Malley just dropped that right on the veteran's collapsing body, completing the picturesque walk-off knockout. You bet. Pay your respects to Sugar, the formidable bantamweight serial winner who takes down his opponents against all odds. Even by the slimmest of margins, it wouldn't be too wise to bet against skinny guy Sean O'Malley. What are your thoughts on Sean's remarkable victories against UFC giants, and what developments are occurring outside the UFC? Check out our video on why Rod Tang is the ultimate Muay Thai fighter of the 21st century. Have you ever wondered what makes Rod Tang the legendary Iron Man, the ultimate fighter in Muay Thai, MMA, and combat sports of the 21st century? Explore our latest video to witness his unmatched skills. In your opinion, what qualities make Rod Tang truly exceptional? 